What's up, ladies and gents? My name is Jasmine. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a long time since I got a new toy. My babies needed a new friend. They were, you know, they like each other, but they wanted another one. So I got one. Mainly because I received an email and I was like, I want that. You know, at, growing up, you know, as a COD player, obviously, the golden gun. That's what everyone wants. Now, there were, there were two things on this list I wanted, but only one I could afford. One was a golden AK. I couldn't afford that. Not at this time. <laughs> That's something I'd have to save up for. So, I didn't get that one. But I got this one. So, as, well, as if you read the full title, you already know the make and model of this. But, it is another, cover this up, Heritage Revolver. I've got two, as you can see. I got the carbine right here with a 16-inch barrel. The Rancher, I think it's called. And then I've got the regular Rough Rider back there with a 16-inch no, barrel. Um, Both of them, I love them. I love heritage firearms. They've never given me an issue. Until this one. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Let's open the box. So you open the box, you get a bunch of warning labels and discounts and stuff like that. And then a little guide. Uh, you get a cylinder lock. Basically, that's it. <laughs> but, here it is. My Heritage Rough Rider Golden Gun. So, yeah, I'm thinking that's a little tan. That's what I thought, too, because I was expecting a shinier gold. But, when you put it up against something that is FDE, like my 1911, you can clearly see much golder. Very beautiful, and it, 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 again, it's all metal, so it's got a great weight to it, which I love about Heritage Firearms, is they just, they feel good in the hand because they're hefty. And it's a beautiful gun. I expected it to be a little bit shinier, but that's fine. It's not. Um, I love the textured grip here. This is awesome. has Heritage there on the side. And she functions great. Again, she's chambered in 22 long, but Heritage just sells cylinders, which you could swap out for 22 mag, which I currently have that one and this one. This is not the cylinder that came with this firearm. And I probably should get that cylinder sent back in to get it fixed, but let me explain the issue. It did not like, uh, I guess, <laughs> cycling or chambering or whatever. Um, I can, you know what, let me go grab a cylinder and see if I can't replicate it because I got it over here. Doo, doo, doo. Where is she? No, I put her over here. <laughs> She's over here. A part short. <laughs> this is the cylinder that came with it. This is a cylinder that originally came with the Rancher. But of course, I got a 22 mag cylinder in there now. But, and again, with most Heritage firearms, you have the little flip safety. So that's why the hammer is not closing completely. I guess I didn't mention, six and a half inch barrel. Um, but when you cock the camera back, that should be able to rotate freely. You know, so it doesn't really move up or down. Let me switch these out real quick. To disassemble, first position, open. You want to squeeze this, kind of closed. And this little pin should. <sighs> Give me a second. <laughs> of course, when I do this on video, it doesn't work. There we go. <laughs> Come on. It's on 
almost out. It's just giving me trouble right on the end. There we go. Pin comes out. Take out your cylinder. We're going to put in the other one. This end, the rid flailed, whatever end. Back here. Man, it doesn't even like going back in. You heard that snap? That it doesn't want to be in there. I close the gate. And you simply press the button again. Make sure the cylinder is nice and lined up, and you push the pin back into place. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can replicate what I was the issue I was having. Don't. <laughs> But I was having an issue with this cylinder right out of the box. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I can feel it starting. It's just, it's not smooth. And occasionally, it would hang up. But it's not doing it now. <sighs> Curse of making a video. It just doesn't want to do it on video. Okay, there, there's the... I pull it up to the camera. <laughs> Basically, I would pull the hammer back after going fully forward and the cylinder was not rotating. I don't understand why. But I swapped out the cylinders and I did this probably a hundred times on each one where I was just holding the trigger, pulling it back and forth, back and forth. This one never gave me an issue. This one did. Oh, right there. Look at that. Hold on. This is another one. It's jammed straight up. I don't know if you can tell. I can't pull that back no matter how hard I try. Push it forward, come back again. <sighs> so that's one issue I had. Here's the thing though. Again, I just swapped out cylinders and the firearm works fine. I don't have any actual footage of me shooting it yet because I haven't gone. I got this this week and I've been working. However, with my experience with Heritage and their customer service, I could probably, I can get this issue fixed in no time. I love Heritage Firearms. They're amazing. This looks beautiful. I know she's going to run beautiful. And that is just my pre-fire, basically, review of the firearm. I have not actually fired it. And, of course, after I fire it, you know, I'll have some footage of that. And I'll do probably do another little, little two-minute review. But, uh, yeah. Eventually, she's going to get a place on my wall, either on this one or that one over there. I might reorganize completely, put all the long guns over there, put all the pistols over here. Um, but, ladies and gents, thank you for joining me for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know I did. Make sure to check out YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Jasmine Gaming Across the Board, as always. Appreciate you being here. Y'all are awesome. Stay jazzy.